I didn't really need accommodations until about April and I started to become very dizzy and nauseous and I had asked them if I could have a water bottle to kind of help with that just near my workspace and they refused me that. I thought because the conditions were kind of bad with the, the heat, the slick floors, and there were multiple COVID cases going around that things would be different and I would be accommodated, but I wasn't. They used the lifting restriction to not allow me to come in to work, which caused my family at that time a lot of hardship because I was only about four months pregnant when they told me I could no longer work. My pregnancy was highly stressful and I suffered severe complications, likely due to stress. Daily, I juggled filing paperwork for public assistance programs such as food stamps, WIC, Medicaid, and unemployment. I was devastated. I was put into a position to choose between safety and supporting my family and maintaining my health insurance. And I think that it's important for pregnant women to also have job security. Um, that's one less stress that we have to worry about while we're pregnant. I definitely will continue the fight. You know, we weren't asking anything wild or anything. We just wanted, you know, just a little accommodation, just for a little while. I know when I speak for moms out there, when I say we are exhausted, a pregnant woman is valuable or valuable to the country, we're valuable to the workforce, and it's time that we start getting treated that way. It is the real deal. We need this because every woman deserves a healthy pregnancy. Every woman deserves a healthy baby.